Welcome back for another episode of Off-Road Hub. My name is Ken. Today, I am in Sedona, Arizona, where I'm gonna do the Broken Arrow Trail. It looks like a lot of fun. Here we go. Sedona in general, and the Broken Arrow Trail specifically, are extremely popular and busy. But there's no wonder why, because this place is incredible. The bulk of the trail is fairly manageable rocky road. The larger rocks and obstacles make you feel like you're in Moab as they're very similar in appearance. The trail has lots of line options, so you can make it pretty simple or really challenge yourself, depending on your vehicle. Anybody behind you that you know of? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. How many more do you think you got on the trail? I think I'm the last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, so much traffic on this trail. This is what I like to call a Disneyland trail where there's a lot of uh, tourists on it. Any, well, any trail that has tour Jeeps on it, that's a Disneyland trail. There's a couple in Moab and uh, here in Sedona, this is definitely another. This is a little offshoot of the trail that goes up to uh, something called Submarine Rock. Let's go see what that looks like.
Submarine rock was just a big rock outcropping you could hike all over if you wanted to. This is a pretty popular hiking area. Right now I'm on the leg down to Chicken Point. Uh, kind of a rough road, a lot of dust. It's like kind of that poof dirt that just puffs up as soon as you touch it. But uh, the trail overall is seems to be pretty short. But uh, the second half, when I come back from Chicken Point, looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of awesome scenery, of course, because it's Sedona. A lot of awesome red rocks. These big points over here. As I just mentioned, the second half of the loop of this trail turns into a more rock crawly type trail. The climbs and drops get a little bit more steep so you can hear more of that sandstone tire chirp.
Okay, this is funny. Here I'm going back down what I just came up because I noticed I had missed this. It's a nice steep climb and you can't see anything but sky on the way up, which is always exciting when there's also a drop off on the other side. Did I mention the scenery? Holy cow, look at that. This section of trail has a ton of rolling sandstone. You can see from all the black on the sandstone that you can choose lots of different ways to get over this area. Well, I finally reached the last big obstacle on this trail. It's a really steep descent called the Steps, and it really is steep. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll look on camera because camera flattens everything out, but trust me, it's pretty steep. Thanks to all this traffic on the trail, I got to show you that side-by-side -side come down and now this Jeep coming down. This whole second portion of the trail is designated as one-way only.
Well guys, that does it for Broken Arrow. A uh, really beautiful trail. Probably one of the most beautiful trails I've ever been on, which is probably why it's so popular. You can see all the surroundings here are just, just amazing. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of big rolly rocks to drive over, kind of Moab-esque. Um, lots of different things you can do. Really fun trail. Um, it's very popular though. And I actually waited till the end of today when I knew the pink Jeeps would be done for the day. That's why they were all heading out and there aren't any more. So <clears throat> a lot of people here, but for good reason. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't already, so that I can take you on a new adventure every Monday and Thursday. And we'll see you next time.